uh, that's also a part of what we should be teaching. Specifically, be dismissed and return. And right. they're not being allowed to practice. And the coach has a policy that if you don't practice, you don't play the play next game. game. Right. Oh my God, the day of a game. Yeah. And you have kids that play three sports, three seasons. And they're in braces. And they've got that monthly check. That's the biggest one. They are going to need a one hour visit every month. Right. Yet they can't come out of school, even if you arrange it around a, a class, like a gym class, an art class. It's at the discretion of the administrators. And as a parent, I've been caught in that dilemma. So just for that alone, I'd like to see an exception. When a parent, not an administrator, a parent responsible for that kid's care needs a doctor's appointment and will return that there be no consequences. I don't think that makes sense. Yeah, that's 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 my issue with the dismissal um, policy because you just can't everybody can't get there, especially with the braces, can't mm -hmm. get their appointment after school. Mm -hmm. In fact, pretty much nobody can. Mm -hmm. It's always, you know, and then you, you try to figure out, as, as Maureen said, what's the best class for my child to miss mm -hmm. to go to this appointment? What, what's the least, you know, will have the least mm -hmm. impact? Mm -hmm. I, I really would at least like to change the dismissal um, aspect. I wish John was here because I hate changing it on with him not being here. But I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I really would like to, I, I don't know what the wording would be, but I would, well, I, I actually don't, but um, let me go back to the charting list for a second. I mean, if we're really talking, and I'm a statistician, so the whole statistics thing to me is just forget it. It really is not that relevant. The issue is if someone is chronically tardy, that's what we're talking about here. Right. There are people who have one time, or have gone through three times where they're tardy. You can actually look and see what the average of kids are that fall into that one to three category during an entire school year. Those are kids that are different from kids who are absent or tardy, rather, 10 to 12 or more times in a year. This is to, you know, at least say if there's a pattern of chronic tardiness, which is not really well defined in here, then that person needs a stronger warning that there are consequences to continually being late. You're late one day because your electricity went out. But there's a, a dire example. consequence for that. There's a dire, a dire consequence, consequence and that, for that. That to me is is neatly unfair. Yeah. And I won't support that. Thank you for bringing it up. So I don't see that. So what do we do here? Um, I mean, the dismissals could be something as simple as. Um, you know, students dismissed from school who do not return well, that I school was, day I was, I was, are Do you want to go on to the next agenda item and I'll try to work on a little bit of language when we come back mm -hmm. to it? Mm -hmm. Want to do that? There's no more. There's nothing. Well, it, the, um, I spoke with Mr. Bernard and he, he, you know, I think he anticipated the annual questions over this. Um, he did say that and with the recognition that the next school committee meeting is the 18th, it would be pushing it, 18th of August, would be pushing a final decision. Uh, but we wish to have them back and discuss it. Well, that, that might even be better. Um, it, and depending on what your printing decision is going to be, too, that may not right. be as critical. Because on this one point, they might be common ground to say, I'm not going to approve this handbook now because of this wording on this one section. Right. And that there's no, way to print the, there's no way to print the rest of it and just leave one page uh, to be no. inserted because no. the way it's printed, obviously. Um, I mean, if we change the wording now, it has to be accepted because we change it. Right. But right. The, the August 18th still gives you time, particularly where we have the later school stuff. This right. Week. See, there are benefits <laughs> to that. <laughs> How, and we don't have any, um, we don't have any meetings scheduled between now and August 18th. Although we may have to, don't we usually have our goal 
development meeting now, and then we can schedule for that. If John, I mean, if I, I would, I would prefer to have this wait and have John come in, if if he if he has time. But I don't. If we don't do it tonight, and then we find out that he can't get it printed in time. I don't want him to come in to defend it. Right. I want new wording on. Yeah. Well, we'll tell him what yeah. the wording's going to be. I guess is, or we could just do it tonight. I. I mm -hmm. Well, well, let's just take consensus about the tardiness issue with the dismissal because those are two separate things. We want to change the wording on one versus the other or both. Well, well, to me, the tardiness is already covered. You've got a policy for, for excused tardies for, for three of them, and you've got the consequences. So why doesn't, why can't an unexcused tardiness be incorporated into the, 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 the three or the, the consequences for the three? I don't have a problem. Somebody's, as Cliff has said, if somebody's tidy through more than three times, which I think is right. more than enough of leeway, <clears throat> then there's consequences, including after school activities and everything else. But I'm just looking at, and I've seen it actually come up, um, where there's, and I've also seen somewhat in the past an arbitrary uh, view as to what um, what's excused by the administrator and what isn't as well, you know. But I just think the consequences could be so dire. I mean, I, you know, going to the Vasquez play, God forbid right, that lead, one of those kids, actor, right. well, not even the lead, any anybody, right. they've worked for three or four months for that for that production, and now they oversleep that day, and uh, that should not be excused by the administrator. That's not a re that's not one of the reasons why they would be excused, and so now they can't participate. So why don't we change the tardy section to say students who are tardy to school unexcused more than on three occasions? Well, I was going to just incorporate, leave, leave the... Yeah, uh, right. This section here? Yeah, I mean... Bottoms, I mean... Yeah. Well, again, if we can go to the 18th, yeah. I think we could all come up with something students are tardy and come back and try to incorporate it so that it's not deviating very much from the policy as written. Right. But covers our concerns. Yeah. Okay, so that's anything. That's per semester. Mm -hmm. So that's which, six times. Which six I thought times was a lot, year. to be honest. Oh, with. I thought it was too much. I said that the last year. I said that, that's too many. We shouldn't even allow that for a year. Six times is way too many. So, can we work on this and then? Yeah, and each come back with something that we draft. On the 18th. Mm -hmm. Without deviating very much. I usually get that, that, that pack out earlier to high school students than the 18th. Don't forget that. I get pretty much right. all the preparation for the warrant except for a paragraph or so. Right. Yeah. Right. And so that the, so that the, uh, I get the rest of the production can be done. Mm -hmm. It's down to wording on So the questions deal with the parties? <coughs> the dismissals. And, and I, I think, David, I, I think, I know John. As, as Mrs. Vaca said, John's going to come in and defend this, but I think I'm hearing a pretty loud sentiment that we want to change, definitely change the dismissal wording, and and a fairly loud sentiment about the tardy. Um, without without wording. deviating right, without from deviating, the overall right. intent of the policy. Exactly. You know, the other thing, David, that you could do um, would be to approve it, print it, and then insert an amendment to it. No. You know, no. No. You know what that was, and you could, but well, well it just it happens all the time. You no, change no. the policy. Yes. Yeah. All right. So the issue with the um, with the parties, as um, Karen was indicating, that there is confusion. If you read the top of page 19, the second um, paragraph, for the first three occasions during a semester, that student is tardy to school for any reason up to 15 minutes after the official start of the school day, the student will be recorded as tardy, and the tardiness will be considered excused. The student will be provided an admittance pass to class, and the student's parent and guardian will be notified of the charge. So mm -hmm. we put out an alert now, say your son or daughter was tardy today, it's, we're gonna consider it excused three times a semester, the six times a year. We have to report, the school must report these figures. This is this is a reportable state, piece right? to the state. Okay. So we have to have a definition of what party is, and we're saying, 15 minutes, okay, overslept. You know, you you got, you know, you have to do this or that. 15 uh, 15 minutes, three times in the half year, six times in, in 
in a year. Mm -hmm. You know, Mr. Benson, you you say that's a little generous, but mm -hmm. we're trying to teach yep. the kids yep. some responsibility. Yep. So it goes on to say, um, for all tardies to school after 15 minutes, following the official start of the school day, the tardiness will be considered unexcused, except in the case of an extenuating circumstance as determined by the school administration. Now, in the case of extenuating circumstances, written documentation noting the reason for the tardiness is to be provided by the student's parent or guardian. Mm -hmm. Not just the student coming in saying, I overslept, but it's mom or dad saying, you know, uh, David was late today. Um, and unexcused tardiness to school beyond 15 minutes following the st official start of the school day will be considered an excused absence from that class for the, ter for the purposes of determining credit. And that goes back to the credit all lumps together, 10 or more, and, and then there was credit. And then the, I think what I hear is, it's the last paragraph, students who are tardy to school unexcused. Now that would only occur if you were coming in, you know, 16 minutes, 20 minutes, or half an hour out. It doesn't matter how many times you do it. You set the 15 minutes as the cut point, um, and um, so you're prohibited from participating in, in after school activities on that day, except in the case of an extenuating circumstance. So there's another out. Now, again, I'm sure that there will be cases of when does your out differ from right. the person's, another person's out. There's no list. Um, I think it would be challenging to define that list. So you're defining it by time, 15 minutes, and okay, what? six times a year. Wouldn't your idea? Yeah, there's three that are excused mm -hmm. for the semester, six mm -hmm. times a year, for the, for the six semester, and six mm -hmm. times a year. My my position is that um, if if somebody is tardy more than 15 minutes but hasn't exceeded the three tardies for the semester, uh, that it may be considered unexcused and there may be consequences, but it would not result in after. Right. That, so yeah, that's what I said. So the first three, the first three suspensions, even if it's unexcused. So if this is a lifetime, the first, the first offense. So yeah, to they could. It could be the first kids. Kid could be a senior. You know, captain of the baseball team, and it's their first tardy ever, and they and they come in 16 minutes late. Without a good reason. Right, and they can't play. Yeah. I, so I that's agree. the type. Right. And and again, um, I, I think it, it leaves too much. Um, there's not a, as David just said, it'd be very hard to define for the administrator what would constitute, um, as suggested here, uh, where, where's the administrator line? It just says, in, in the case of an extenuating, except in the case of an extenuating circumstance is determined by a school administrator. Yeah, right. So it doesn't really. So what are extenuating circumstances in that? But see, I, I thought I thought you were also getting at that. But you're in agreement that if someone's tardy four, five, six times, absolutely, then it should, positively. But, okay, I, absolutely. I mean, if someone's tardy more than that three times right. in a semester, then th right. th that's too bad. I mean, you know, you, you've abused the uh, the privilege. I'm right. just looking but, at that. But the senior in the master's program who happens for the first time to be 17 minutes late, right? or 25 minutes late, or 30 minutes late because they had a flat tire, or a dead battery, or some other incident, would be zapped. Yeah. Unless the administrator excuses that person. Mm -hmm. And so you're putting too much, to me, you're putting too much on the administrator's shoulders. You know, kids late once in four years and can't play in the state championship baseball game or whatever. That, so I, I have the same issue there, too. Do we have an administrator that's going to act that way? Well, we used to. Um, I don't know, I don't know about now, but, but you, don't know, you don't know who your administrator is going to be <laughs> the, at uh, all times. So, I, I, again, so that, 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 that toddy is one of the, the three that right. you're entitled to. Now, now, granted, I suppose you could argue, well, what if they come into school at 1 o'clock and say I'm late? Um, but I, I just, that's not what I'm getting at. I'm getting at the, as Cliff suggested, uh, vehicle problem, uh, oversleeping problem, uh, uh, whatever. I mean, it could be something happening, I don't know, at, at home, but it happens. And it happens, and I think most of the time, most of the time the administrator probably takes into 